Let's say you go to the local auto body repair shop in San Jose, California to fix your dent. They will remove the paint, weld, and burn holes in the panel. If your car does not go up in flames, the body shop will repaint your vehicle with a smile and hand you back your keys. I'm going to show you amazing car hacks and tips how to repair your dent without all the hassle of removing the original paint. Hello, I am Ken, your host, the man that rips on steel. Backstory. The customer backed into a metal bumper on a truck, causing a two foot dent and paint damage. I told the customer I may pull off more paint in the process of the repair, and he was okay with that. Let's go over the list of tools I'll be using in this repair. I'll be using two floor pullers to remove the dent. I'll be warming up the damage with a torch. You may recognize these PDR rods from the last video. These tabs are great for pulling collision. Battery powered socket and polisher by Milwaukee. Hand tools for removing panels using leather and steel knockdowns, cleaning the panel with alcohol, using hammers. I will be using a special collision glue. Let's start the repair. First, I'm gonna remove the clips so I can pull the bumper. Starting on the passenger side of the car, I'm going to pull plastic pins. Next, the rear side. Finally, the driver's side. Next, removing two 10 millimeter bolts. Now I'm pulling off the bumper cover. Now I'm setting up two dent towers, adjusting the pulling height to match the damage. I'm going to clean the panel using a wool pad in the corner on the edge just above where the bumper cover sits. Now I'm working towards the wheel. This step is really important. You don't want your glue and tabs coming off in the pulling process. Squirting alcohol on the panel and going to give it a final wipe down. Warming up the surface of the car and the tabs. Spreading hot glue evenly on the surface of the tabs. Next, placing glue tabs on the edge of the quarter panel. Placing tab number one, tab number two, tab number three. Tab number four. And tab number five. Before I start pulling, let's take a look at both towers. 
On my left, I'll be pulling laterally with a ratchet strap. On my right, I'll be pulling perpendicular with my hydraulic puller. The ratchet strap is attached to the post and the other hook is attached to the side pulling tab. I'm going to increase tension by ratcheting the strap. Now I'm turning on the hydraulic tower by pushing the pedal. We are pulling two directions to get the dent out. The edge of the panel is coming out nicely. You could hear and see the release leaving tension on the strap and the chain. I'm going to begin knocking down the buckles in the upper section of the dent. Question, are you working in a body shop environment now? What's your process? Do you like to grind, weld, and paint? Are you wanting to learn the future of minor collision? I am the preferred PDR training channel in North America. Message me down below. Some of you are car enthusiasts wanting to work on your own vehicle. Are you new to my channel? Mention in the comments that you're a new subscriber and I will personally respond. After a few minutes of swinging the hammers, time to put them down. I'm going to slide on the bumper cover just for a minute to check out the alignment. I had a great successful first pull. You can now see the crack in the paint from the impact. I'm going to begin knocking down the high areas in and around it. I'm going to place two smaller crease tabs on the panel. I will make a couple quick pulls to get some more metal moving. I'm going to remove the brake light with a battery powered ratchet. Using a pencil and straight edge to restore the body line. There are multiple access points for my paintless dent removal process. I slid my PDR bar through the hole in the brake light pocket, using multiple PDR tips to massage out the dent from the backside. I'm going to start on the upper section and work my way down. I went back to the hammer and knocked down to remove some more high areas. Going to make some more final pushes on the crease and the deep section of the dent. Before I show you the final results, if you need some one-on-one -on -one training tips and tools, click on the website link down in the description. I want to personally thank you for stopping by. Are you wanting to meet and do one-on-one -on -one training with the man that rips on steel? Message me down below and I will look for an open space for you. If you're new to my channel, I'm hoping these tool tips and hacks will help you out on your repair. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you when I airdrop my next video.